Diamond Bank was founded in Nigeria in 1990, a time of national economic crisis, but one that taught it valuable lessons. Diamond has weathered the latest international financial storm and is today a vital part of Nigeria's business environment. With me is Dr. Alex Oti, Group Managing Director and CEO of Diamond Bank, to discuss its strategies and the significance of its support for energy corporates. Dr. Oti, welcome. Thank you. So what was the bank's strategy during the recent crisis? The bank, in the last one year and six months since I've been the CEO, the bank has uh, uh, continued to grow. And uh, the major thing we did was to look at the challenged risk assets that we had and bring them out to the open and provide for them. So we wrote off close to 44 billion Naira at the end of the financial year in 2011. And uh, from 2012, we have returned to profitability. We uh, intend to continue growing in the area of oil and gas, uh, corporate bank, and the retail segment of the market. We believe uh, that there's no way uh, we can grow as a nation if we ignore the micro, small, and medium scale enterprises. So we are one of the few, few banks that are doing a lot in that area in terms of empowering people, in terms of growing small businesses. But we also are largely an oil and gas country. We are the seventh largest producer of oil in the world, and uh, we cannot ignore that segment. So we've also put a lot of energy around the energy business. And what's your market position today? In terms of numbers, uh, absolute number of branches will be about number nine. If you are looking at total deposits, it will be about number seven or eight. If you are looking at um, total assets, it will also be about number seven or eight. But then when you begin to measure what is important to shareholders and stakeholders, and then you'll be talking about ratios, profitability, cost to income ratio, we are up there. Uh, we may not be number one or number two or number three, but anywhere between number four and number five. Um, cost to income ratio today, we are number two. Um, uh, in terms of net interest margins, we've maintained healthy net interest margins of about 10% uh, um, in the last two years. So we are number two there. And um, in terms of um, returns uh, to equity, we are about number four. So I think uh, the bank is uh, well positioned uh, to move up the ladder. And I'm sure that in the next couple of uh, years, we'll, we'll be in leadership. Your own background is in corporate banking. Tell us about this side of Diamond Bank's business. Yes, I have um, had a background in corporate banking. I've had a background in commercial banking. I've had a background even in operations. Um, but in Diamond Bank, um, we have uh, taken a principled stand that any area that we choose to play, that we play very, very well. So the first thing that we did uh, was to strengthen the corporate banking sector. Uh, particularly in the energy business. We brought in a gentleman who is uh, very experienced in that area and supported him with professionals, not necessarily bankers. You'll be amazed that if you go to our energy uh, group, you'll find engineers, you'll find geologists, you'll find geophysicists, and we spend time in training them and ensuring that they acquire the skills and speak the language that uh, people in that sector speak. And people have come to respect us, our customers, and even those that are not our customers have come to respect us because of the skills and um, the expertise that exists in that area. And um, we are very well positioned to take up the leadership. About 50% uh, of uh, profitability in the corporate banking business comes from energy. And uh, we'll continue to keep it that way. Tell us more about the energy segment in your corporate banking business. How are you supporting the Nigerian oil and gas sector? In the upstream, we are easily the leader in that area. We, like I told you, we actually have spent a lot of money and efforts in training people and ensuring that we get the right people to manage different areas of that, um, of the upstream oil and gas area. And today, we are the leading bank in reserve-based lending. We have partnered with uh, multinational corporations, and we have partnered with indigenous producers. In the 
downstream, we are not very bullish in that area, given uh, the challenges and the circumstances in the downstream area. So we only do transactions that are secured end to end, and we only do transactions that we can see through and convert very quickly. We are happy, very happy to continue to be in leadership in the oil and gas area and, of course, energy. We've talked about your strong retail arm. You also support SMEs. Tell us about some of your innovations in this area. The reality is that um, there is no way the Nigerian economy can grow without the small and medium scale enterprises. So we hired a gentleman who had had some very good experience in Barclays Bank to set up the retail banking system in the bank. So in terms of our systems, our technology, the people, the products, uh, we have one of the best in the industry. Now, there is this mindset that um, the retail banking segment is a loss leader. Maybe it's true, it's true, but we have proved that it's not always the case. We are growing in a measured step. We are growing carefully. Uh, so today we have about 40% of our total deposit coming from the retail segment of the market and we have close to 20% of our loans also in that segment of the market. We have empowered people, we've created entrepreneurs, we've uh, nurtured them, we have clinics. Because you see a lot of people with ideas, but they may not be able to articulate those ideas in a way that you can lend money to them. So we go beyond the ordinary to ensure that we train people you know, who have ideas and empower them. And you'll be amazed, some of the people that we have empowered have come out to become uh, corporates today, big corporates. So we are very happy to have built uh, the, the base that we have built and we'll continue to do that. Um, what we've done have been recognized both locally and internationally. I'm sure you must have read that IFC invested $70 million in the last uh, one or two months in Diamond Bank as uh, tier two convertible equity. But beyond that, they also have supported us with $20 million uh, for on lending to the micro, small and medium scale enterprises. And today we are partnering with Shell, with Grofin, and a couple of other international organizations who have seen what we have done and they keep encouraging us to keep doing more and more of those. So growth in corporate and retail, but perhaps the emphasis on retail. Emphasis on retail as time goes on. But for now, we have a chunk of the loans in the corporate. Talk to Alex Otti, thank you. Thank you very much.